I want to chat a little bit about this all this talk going around about Cora's nanny. I know that you guys have been hearing some stuff in the air, things that people are saying. So I want to get your take on it, honestly, because feedback is great. Um, if you haven't heard anything, trust me, I have, okay? And yes, I would say, to be honest, I'm going to be honest, I would say for me personally, if I was an English-speaking person, well, which I am, <laughs> and I was going to hire a nanny, yes, my nanny would have to be English speaking, or even if they're bilingual, they can be bilingual as well, English and Spanish, yes, bring it to the table, okay, they have to be bilingual, because why, I have to be able to communicate with them, if my children say something like June, June can speak for herself, June say something, or even a Tina, a Tina might be saying certain words, my children have to be able to, you have to be able to understand my children, and my children have to be able to understand you as well. So bilingual or uh, English speaking, yes, I would hire, but all Spanish, and I cannot communicate with you, and I got to be using my hand to say, tum, tum. no, no, that's a no for me, okay? People might feel differently, but that is a no for me, because how are we going to work out? How is it going to work with us? How? It's going to be hard, because when I'm telling you to do something, or if I say, something to you how are you going to understand what i'm saying if you don't even know at least 20 percent or even 10 percent of the english that i'm speaking and it's no nothing with discriminating or discrimination no if it was somebody that was coming to clean my house then maybe maybe i would say yeah maybe a five percent still english because cleaning my house I gotta tell you, don't put no bleach on my on my wall robe or don't put bleach on my certain areas and my I mean those are things that you have to communicate, right? So for me in this America, yes, I would say that when it comes to a nanny, especially if my children are not at a school age where they have learned or they are learning a little bit of Spanish in school. If they're at that age where they have learned a little bit of Spanish in school, and they can, um, you know, relate to that nanny, then, yeah, you know, that would be okay. But it would be very hard. And it would be also be frustrating as well because there might be times when you want to relate certain things for this nanny to do, or like I say, even if it was somebody cleaning your house, how are you going to do it? Are you going to go on Google all the time? Are you going to get a, a book with Spanish and English to translate? Who got time to do all of that? Especially if you have a busy schedule and you're trying to run out your house to go do your thing or do what you got to do and you want to relay this. How are you going to do it? Are you going to spend your night writing down on paper all this stuff for this, for this nanny or the house cleaner so that when they come, they will know what you mean? In that case, just, you know, for me, and again, that's my own opinion. My own opinion, okay? Everybody's opinion is different, right? And I don't, I don't live in California. I don't know how things are there. If it's that easy to find uh, babysitters, only God knows, okay? But if somebody lived there in California, you tell us. Maybe you dealt with that before. You had to hire uh, a babysitter or a nanny. Clarice had said it couldn't add you, darling. Try again. Maybe um, you live up there and things were different. I don't know, but... Um, Amika said, I agree, hon. It's frustrating to have a converse conversation with her. I'm telling you, it would be. And who wants to be frustrated when they're speaking to somebody that they're paying? You're paying this person every week, and the children are young. The children are young. And I got to make sure that you understand certain things. You know what I mean? So for me, I wouldn't be able to deal with it, okay? Even if I had no choice in the beginning, and I tried it for one week, and I realized, oh, Lord, this is going to be a challenge, okay? Whoever I hire her to, if I hire her to an agency, I would have to explain to the agency, let the agency explain to her, you know, it's, it's um, a little bit of a challenge for me because I'm Spanish-speaking, I'm not bilingual, and just have that agency find me someone that maybe is bilingual or that speaks English, so that way we can communicate with each other. So maybe Cora might take, you know, that into consideration, and only God knows, maybe she is in the works of looking for another nanny, we don't know, right, because we don't, I don't know personally how this one was hired, right, was she to an agency, nobody knows, okay, but um, 
anybody want to come up here i'm going to read your comments as well come and speak guys so that way i am not doing all the talking and then i gotta go sleep for 72 hours okay or 48 hours you know i don't want to do that okay i don't want to do that so come up here guys and speak so i don't have to read all the comments um um, Paula said Cora should kindly let her go and find a new nanny. Yeah, if she can do that, I mean, I would be looking for a new one. And, you know, once I know that I have a new one lined up, then, again, I would speak to whoever I have to speak to. All depends on how that person was hired. Oh, my God, Angela, you're going to make me read all of that. Guys, I can't go back very far in your comments, okay? You're killing me over here. I'm sorry. <laughs> one moment. Jacqueline is coming. Yeah, Angela, let me read screen, darling. Remember, you can come and speak on audio. You don't have to tap the video. You don't want to show your face. And mm -hmm. you can also call me to the WhatsApp number. Hi, good morning, darling. How good are you? morning. Good morning, sweet peach. Happy Hi. Friday. Happy Friday to all Thank you, darling. peaches. You will feel better. Amen. We're yeah. sending our prayers for you too. We can't afford to let yeah. you go on there. You know, we depend on oh. this platform. So I you. pray God that you would have a speedy recovery. I can Thank call you. you. I know about that um, Vixen stuff. But yes. I can call you and give you a few home remedies because I was just suffering from the same thing. If y'all can hear Thank me, you. you know, I still do have a cold. But that Richard, sorry, that Richard Hartwick, you gonna call in, call in, brother, at a number at the bottom or sister. If you're a sister, call in. Let's just put a WhatsApp number down there. Go ahead, Jack. Yes. I'm sorry. You know, so we move. You know, sweet Pete, remember when you we talk about this when the nanny came with the baby on um yeah video. Yes. Right. And I told you, I know maybe a lot of people did not agree with me, but as I said. Mm -hmm. That was my opinion. That's how I would have reacted. She would have been gone. Right. And up to now, I will still say the same thing. First mm -hmm. of all, we don't know why Cora took a Spanish-speaking person, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. communication is key. Amen. And I have to have someone who can communicate with me and with my children, whereby I can understand you, Yes. And you can understand me. If you speak another language, that's fine. Yes. But English will have to be your primary language. Oh, have to. Yes. yes, have to. Mm -hmm. You can teach the children Spanish or put in one and two. There are, you might be speaking German. Right. You know? yes. But English would have to be, I have to be able to communicate with you. For mm -hmm. the love of God, nobody knows why she did that, but mm -hmm. that's her life. Right. I right. just want to stray a little bit from the point, the topic today, though. You know, we do all of, we all do our drive-by. Yes. And it is a sad, sad affair to see people this evil going that far. Now you're wishing that Cora's children be dead? What sort yeah. of evil is you? For that person that typed that, may your fingers, God is going to reward you. I don't want to put my mouth on you, but God is going Amen. to reward you. Amen. You're Amen. wishing for some, those little innocent babies. A cent we don't mm. know nothing that don't know what is it because mm. we all heard a thing and say I love you right but is that what killing you all like that Unbelievable. now you going to you want to go sue again Dr. Sue is because he's hearing history did hello go back and read yeah what the court orders say no video nobody on live stream exactly go ahead and sue dr sue mm. that's why you will end up being doctor of owing hundreds of thousands you will sue exactly. each quarter million i'm telling you mm. 
but can you imagine a woman even if it's a man because these children come out from a man and a woman yeah you typing for the death mm. of a baby a baby come on people what is wrong with it all this y'all are that sick mm -hmm. where do you know this girl from what has Cora done to any one of us yes, because her husband brought his dirty inside business on social media that's how we know but you know what, sweet peach? Everybody yes. in the house. We are not seeing everybody else's life. And I am exactly. quite sure, absolutely certain, mm -hmm. that a lot of us do not live any better life no. than Cora or other than the neighbor. Because you're in your house, we are not seeing your life is not on full display here. Exactly. So you we said don't, it. Don't know. They're worse parent than Cora. And Cora is not a bad parent. No, she's not. She's not. Cora is, and I keep saying it, the, her maternal instinct will not allow her to mm -hmm. harm her children. She would mm -hmm. never do that. No. You, they are evil people. Oh, yeah. That person, that type that they want the child dead. That is an evil person. So I would say they would more harm their children than Cora. Right, exactly. You, you said know? it. Yeah. What kind of evil is this? I mean, that's Lord sick. Jesus, look down upon your children. Look down upon this nation, oh God. Come on yeah. now, this is gone way above and beyond. These people are horrible. And then here goes and this it. one that is that just um, like a so JC a just come up, pop up hollering oh, for Lord God, Mr. Church man. I ain't even calling you a preacher. You claiming to be a church, a, a, a minister, a pastor? That came up. You mean? Um, oh, you mean that is doing a live video? Yes. Oh. I don't know if okay. it's live okay. or just real. I don't know, but mm -hmm. I see him. And you, 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 you all of a sudden come up to Bashkoro, mm -hmm. Mr. JC, just come on. Right. Don't you, the Bible, read in your own book, in the book that you're preaching to talk about from, mm. that it said, judge not that ye shall not be judged. Amen. Who Amen. gave you the authority to judge right. or obedience? You I'm know she's you. a prostitute. Did you pick that fair with her? Did right. you sleep with her? Did she prostitute with you? And you, mm -hmm. how could you stand up in a congregation and preach to me? Mr. Go some way because you is just like the man outside with doing drugs and a rum shop, sitting at a rum shop drunk. You can't preach to me. You can't talk to me. You have no authority because that Amen. is not the working of God. Amen. You got this it. young woman. You pick and choose which photos to put up. What is it? You getting your kicks off and looking at? Why is your eyes in her big holes with her foot right? up in the air? Why you have that in your backdrop? I because the man is you, you sick. Mm. Yes, you know wow. the one where Cora split with her leg up on the right, water. Right, right. I remember that. I remember that. With this and that. Yes. You have that one too. Oh wow! So you're sitting there. Well, Jack, next, time, next time, next time you do a drive by, you see that particular page. Send that to me I was, because I, will, I will send I it have, to you today. I'm not seeing that, that person. You're sitting Jesus. there looking at this woman. Look what you're looking at. Why are you trafficking? And not only that, the things. question is. What is he doing behind the scenes when he's not on a live video in a picture? What is he doing? Okay, he must uh -huh. be getting off. I'm telling he must be, you. Excuse me, exactly. he's adults up here. He must be jerking off on that. And that's because what I'm you saying. Are coming up here and claiming to be a man of God. Mm -hmm. And you bashing this. Isn't oh. there nothing else for you to he's tell a man. He's a man of gang. That's right. Man of now, gang. Okay, let us put our queen up against him 
<laughs> mama come up here and we all laugh and talk. <laughs> but mama never go down such roads. No. Other no. ministers don't go down such roads. Yeah. You are yeah. here to win souls for your kingdom. For yeah. God's kingdom. Go win some souls and come off a Cora back. Come off a the back, man. You exactly. see people like them would scare people like me about going in into congregation i won't go into those you know? kind of people congregations I not the kind of people no you're no. running people people who got sense would run mm -hmm. from somebody like you you can oh look at her dress she not dressing in her native hello you're talking about her are you dressed in your native clothes in what you're supposed to wear Come on, people, stop pointing your accusing fingers at others when clothing. we ourselves got our own problems. He's an European, with. that's a European man. I don't know what mm. part of Nigeria he is from. He taking himself to be, be European man because a European king and started making clothes before African man ever thought of wearing yes. them. That's not how we dress in Africa. Mm. Go to, okay, go mama, go to, I'm going to bow out. I Thank said you, what I had to say. Ahead, I, I had a few more things, but you know, when Queen come up, I just go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. So, yeah. Mama, take the floor away, Mama, because I know we're gonna get it hot this morning. I yes, just got yes. that feeling. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, please, send me that one, darling. We can get a chance and we see it again. I Thank will. you. All right, darling. Good to see. You. Morning, Mama. Good morning, sweetheart. Good morning, everybody. Oh, I'm not to be seen today. <laughs> Praise be to God. I know you are well. You whatever they say, you're gonna you're gonna do good, okay? Amen. Amen. You're gonna do good. The devil is a liar. We're yes, always saying that he is a liar. Yes. We we'll always say he's a liar. He will never go anywhere. But here we come here. Let me talk about this man of gang. Because I'm yes. not gonna call him. God mean is too good to put on him. He's a man of gang. Mm. He's a man. Man of gang, mm -hmm. you gangster. Yeah. Let me tell you, and I will tell that man, he's part of the men that took the stone to stone the lady that said she was a prostitute. Mm -hmm. And Jesus, which was 100% man, 100% God, stood yeah. on the ground. He stood on the ground and started to write, you who have not sinned, cast the first stone. One man then dropped their stone and started walking away because so they know what they have done worse than what this woman have done. Yeah, they have done worse things, and this man is doing worse things. He wanted those. Your grandfather was one of those that dropped the stone. Your great grandparents were one of those that dropped the stone, and that blood is in you of accusations to mm -hmm. accuse somebody of something that you never saw them do. And you were right. one of those that Jesus spoke to. You are one of those spirits yeah. that yeah. said, you who have not sinned can cast the first stone. He did not even say, you who are not sinning now, but have mm -hmm. not sinned not. Mm -hmm. cast the first stone. Mm -hmm. And they drop it and walk away. Let me tell you, God is not a fool. God is not stupid. God knows. Mm -hmm. We Amen. human. First of all, the Bible says, even your eyes, we sin with our eyes and our ears. Mm -hmm. If you there, particularly eyes of lust, yes, looking at another woman, which is not your wife, and you talking about her problem, you are already sinned against mm -hmm. God. Amen. You have sinned because you are looking at her body and you are mm -hmm. talking about that body how did you see it did you see mm -hmm. it in the eyes of lust you have already mm -hmm. seen it. yes so give me the scripture that says you look between women legs and come back and preach show me it mm. show me the scripture right you have already seen ain't nobody exactly. no pastor mm -hmm. who is to the serving god will be particular about Korah's body exactly exactly no man of God, but nope. only men of gang mm. who wrapping the women in the church and calling their lay hands. Right. 
and calling their lay hands, mm. running their hands and dropping them on the floor, and say you are you are lay hair on them, and your hand don't lay down on their hair, you lay your head on their chest, on their chest, <laughs> on their chest, that the only place the Holy Spirit can go to on their chest, right? That way you lay your hand. The moment that women can stand in front of you, you lay your hair on the chest. Yeah. You don't lay their hand on their forehead. You don't do that. You don't annoy mm. them. You lay your hand on their chest. You are the kind of men of gang. And mm. God knows you. So don't come to pretend here. Don't right. come to pretend here about the Holy Bible. Mm. God himself, Jesus, who was 100% man, 100% God, told yeah. the woman who the men wanted to stone. He said, woman, when he told you, you start walking away, your grandfather started walking away, your great-grandfather started walking away, your uncles, your whatever started walking away, and he yes. said for him. The woman that you couldn't touch, the woman that you couldn't speak to, but to stone her to death, he cried mm -hmm. for him. He stood and said, woman, go and sin no more. Yes. Why didn't Jesus pick the rock for you or tell you you continue stoning her? Right. Why, why didn't Jesus say, you're stoning her right now because I'm God standing right here. You're stoning her, let her die. Exactly. Judah oh. said you saw her in a doctoral act. Judah didn't tell Jesus why you were there, what you were doing there to see well, her in did. a doctoral act. Exactly. What you were doing there. He oh. said, you have, that have not sinned. That means you know you yourself got some snake in your closet. Mm -hmm. You got a lot of snake in your closet. Exactly. And you live in the dead and you're going to kill bugger balls. Mm. Or you live in the dead, your snake in your closet and chasing my rats. Why are you chasing my rats? Right. And your snakes are more dangerous than my rats. I need my rats can eat my books. My mm. rats can eat my clothes. My rat can make some mess. But your snake in your closet is more dangerous than my rat. My rat. Mm -hmm. Right. Ara 80. Rat. Yes. You got everything in your closet. Yeah. You live in the dead to come to this young woman. To okay. come talk about I'm a man of God. You ain't no man of God. You are a man of no. gang. Mm. Because that's not how you're supposed to do it. You are no. a man of God. So you are happy. When this man came out and talked about women private power. Right. When he came out and talked about women private power. So you are happy no, about exactly. that, right? Exactly. Because you wanted to hear it. A parent that you can right. cuss your wife and beat your wife and do anything to your wife. So you happy. You are like the same one we're talking about here. The same cat that was going to Brazil. The same cat that had a Nigerian girl in the house. And brought her on camera naked. The same cat that went to the job and the drove him from there because he played with women. The same cat that came to get drunk and got drunk and he slept with her and she got her other kids after him. The yeah. same cat is just like you. Hmm. Everybody saw this thing on social media. Everybody <laughs> saw it. Except the dumb cat at once. Who cannot comprehend mm. whether you are a pastor, whether you are a prophet, who you are, it's up to right. you. But it has nothing to do with this young girl life. No. No, no it doesn't. It has nothing to do with this young girl life. How many of you pastors never stay in the church and sleeping with the women in the church? Exactly. And you come in, oh yeah, because you're doing a secret, you are not caught yet. How many right. pastors you have, in, you have not come? I mean, it had not come on social media that woman was mm. pregnant. A congregation mm -hmm. wife was pregnant. Exactly. And they caught him in the room with a man's wife. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you come on social media to talk about it if you are a man of God? Why right. didn't you, did you talk about a man that was caught in the room with a congregation mm. uh, 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 husband, the wife pregnant, and they caught them in the room? Why didn't you? You talk about it exactly. Why are you not talking about the pastors that are sleeping around with women in the churches and they are exposing them every day? Why are you not talking about that? Why Cora is so important? 
Korada, right? That is 28 year old. And you got rusted men, rusted pastors, and rusted women sleeping mm -hmm. in the church where they are pastors. Deacons the are in the church sleeping. Yes. Where the members, mm -hmm. deacons, mm -hmm. bishops mm -hmm. that right. doing that. Why are you not talking about that? But you're talking about Korah clothes. Exactly. Korah that you never caught her in the adultery act. Korah that you never saw her doing prostitution. Oh, you don't talk about that. You don't only you, you can talk about that, but you don't talk about mm -hmm. the men of God are pregnant women in the church. You don't talk about that. Exactly. You don't talk about that. You don't talk about the men of God. They call themselves men of gang, men of God. Stand mm -hmm. in the church. Church and strip women naked and say they are laying here on their private path for strip and trying to shave them in a bowl in the congregation. They say, Why don't you mm -hmm. talk, talk about mm -hmm. that? Exactly. Wow. Why don't you talk about that? Then you mm -hmm. come by to talk about Quran. Why your daughter to me out there if you have one? Right? Tell me why your son and your daughters are doing out there if they are exactly. now worse. Mm -hmm. Quran, you talking about. About her clothes. Why are you not accusing God for putting Adam in the garden without clothes? Why are you not accusing God? If you are a man of God, why you didn't go back to question why God put Adam in the garden and Eve were all clothes? Have you talked mm -hmm. to him to find out why? Or you exactly. are waiting for the Europeans to come? <laughs> Why you talk about the scripture? What say God say? Isn't your body more beautiful than the clothes? Isn't your body more beautiful than the clothes that you are worried about? Mm -hmm. Your body and the clothes that you want her to wear the long sleeve. Right. The clothes that me and you are to have is just this body, not to hang Jing Chang on us. God created us to be natural we mm -hmm. started patching ourselves mm -hmm. and Europeans started coming and bringing things to patch up and because of sin in the garden that's what caused God to kill the animal the first animal in the garden and cover them because he knew that they have sin and they said they were in hiding that was the mm -hmm. first bloodshed and that was, yeah. a, that was another way of showing Jesus Christ death on the cross he took a blameless lamb, a lamb right in right. the place, the animal, and killed the animal and took the skin and covered them. Yes. Their conscience mm. came to them before they knew that they were naked, but they never knew that they were naked. God created them to be naked. Right. And because the same conscience that made them know that they were naked. Mm-hmm. They never knew right. and they were never they never had to according to the bible that you say you are a man of god why but the scripture that says that your the, your body is more valuable than the clothes go and read that scripture go back i can read that scripture because we worry every day what we're going to do the next day, what we're going to wear, what we're going to eat, mm -hmm. what we're going to do this, what we're going to do that. That's why he eyes. Isn't the body more beautiful than the clothes? So you're going to trust somebody to help because they wore certain clothes that you don't like? Exactly. Why about you that sleeping around with other women? Right. What about other evil that you are doing? What about the things that you are saying to other people? What about the things that you are doing to other people? Because nobody's seeing you. Right. Exactly. Nobody's seeing you. So you are holy. So you are holy. Go sit down, man. I'm telling Go you. take your Bible and read it good. Go, Go back sleep. and start Go from to Genesis to Revelation. Start Go from to bed, right Genesis right. to Revelation. Don't bring Bible here. When we come to talk, the Bible bring the scripture and bring it out to the people. A body is more expensive. If you think that you got your wives in bag, pack up in your house, then pack them there. Go pack mm. your wives in the house. Why are you sleeping with women in the church? 
Why are you doing things, rubbing women just in the church? But nobody should talk about it because you are holy. You got your robe on. Keep your robe on. But God sees everything you're doing. Amen. God sees everything you're doing. You don't bring it on, on here. We are talking about a man who came so to destroy a young woman that had two children. Mm -hmm. A man who deliberately took upon himself, came on the social media to yeah. tell us everything that this guy did, he said. And only to find out that he was lying. And he's still lying mm -hmm. that he can't remember how many months he had been lying. He calling it 50 months and other people calling it 13 and a half months. Right. But he who did it, I don't even remember. He doesn't even remember how old the baby was when he took the baby from the birth. He yes. doesn't even remember that he even told Cora to get she and the children to drop them to get out of the house. He can't remember that. He doesn't even remember. How old or how many months or how old was the baby when he kidnapped them and carried them on somebody else's couch? He can't remember that. And I bet now he can't even remember the fifty thousand dollars that were given to him. He can't remember that. He can't remember that either, Mama. No, he can't remember. He can't remember the forty thousand dollars he took for his student loan. He can't remember that. He can't remember the ten thousand dollars that were given to him. He can't remember that. Mm. But for mm. her, and there are women standing by saying that yeah. she must lose her children. Right. And now, as the Imagine. as the woman of God just said that they are mm. praying for her children to die. Who you praying to? You Eternity. woman, if you listen to this video, who are you praying to? Right. Are you praying to the Holy God? You think he's devilish like you? You think he's crafty and corny like some of you? That's why he didn't give us no chance to even see him. Okay? Even when see him through our heart. Yeah. Because that's yes. the place he entered. We will never see him. Because some of the wickedness some of us can do. And you want, you want to see somebody charged. You are heartless. So and I know because if you can be that heartless, then you are wombless. Right. You are very very wombless. That person who said that thing, they are very wombless. Nothing in their stomach. No womb. Yes. They are born like a snake in the world. Mm. And a woman that can wish for another woman child to die. Yeah. I mean, you yeah. have not felt what they call pain. You have mm. not felt what they call giving birth. You have not felt what they said nine months walking around with a human being in your stomach. You mm. have been have that experience. Unfortunately, that's the only woman that can stand there. And think. unfortunately, she has she has three. Unfortunately, she has three. Yeah, she has three. I think she has yes. Three and maybe they yeah. get she has three, and she don't know what a pain is. It goes back to her children, her and her yeah. children. Ever when you release on Cora, and you know you got three children, that why you release. And going back to you and your children, not to maybe she, has to maybe she has C section with all. She didn't give natural birth. No, she didn't get natural birth. They put her in sleep and made a place numb and took yeah. the babies out. Maybe. Can you, yeah. can you imagine how evil? Because even Caesarean, if they numb the place, the pain yes. will still feed the pain. That is true. You will still feed pain. Hmm. You will not feel the natural pain from the natural birth, but even the cesarean, after the numbness go away, you will yeah. feel the pain for your child that you are giving birth to. What kind of woman is that? And those, those kind of women, they are terrible. And they got some old yeah. African women, dumb like a, a like what they, I don't know. Mm. Looking at this woman, a young woman, talking about about her children, her baby crying, her children, her daughter crying. What are you so interested in her children? Right. 
I'm Did she you. call you that she wanted you to help her? Did she call any woman here and say, can't help me with my kids? But you're wishing for her to lose her children to a man who cannot even support the children. Exactly. Who cannot go to work, but sit there and sleep for 48 hours. Because he's looking for a job from her. Looking for a yeah. job from Cora. That if I get the children, Cora will pay me. Child support. Child support. If I get the children, that man is looking for a job so that he can have that job for 18 years. He's looking for 18 years job. Yeah. And you will not get it. Amen. He look Amen. looking for 18 years job in America. So Cora can so he can sit home and eat and do a drug and Cora pay him yeah. to take care of the yeah. children. He's not fighting for those children because he loved them. No, he yeah. wants a job from Cora. He wants Cora yeah. to pay him. He's looking for a job. He's looking for a job. Mm -hmm. That's why he's so interested in his children. Because okay, he wants a job. So. He can't get it on social media. He wanted to get it on social media to have all right that his way of income, making right. income. Can you imagine? Yeah. Can, can you have a DR to your need? You're looking for social media to bring your children. That's the mm -hmm. only way you can survive. Then you wonder why the children should be taken from their mother to be given to you. But right. you never rejected the fifty dollars. Fifty thousand, yeah. The fifty thousand dollars you never rejected it. Yeah. That fifty dollars to Cora. Fifty thousand dollars to him. That fifty dollars to Cora. Right. Exactly. <laughs> oh my God. From your mm. greediness, your greedy behavior. His greedy behavior caused everything to scatter all like this. Yes. Not today. You want to be free from it. You're not going to be mm -hmm. free from it. No. Because your goal is you're going to fight this. Mm -hmm. You're going to fight this. You're going to fight this. Then they will tell you, say, after another six months, you have the right to come and fight. You fight the first time, you get it. And you think you're going to fight the second time. Right. Once you have given you $50,000 to go, and you okay. can't even do nothing with the $50,000. Which charge going to take those children from Cora and give them to you? What make you think? Your children will never be taken away from Cora. So you're, you're Amen. in dream. Amen. Amen. You're in dream. This is America. Some of you are sitting out in your villages in Nigeria. And then you're sitting down behind camera. You're sitting down behind the phone. Oh, we'll make sure her children. Because when he call you, he say, you'll keep, you'll keep harassing her. You'll yes. keep harassing her. Mm -hmm. So that they can tell the children. Hey, you know, I really need help right now. I really need real help right now. I need yeah. help. You know, if I get it, I need to pay my mortgage. That's why the tension coming like this. Because he mm -hmm. needs money to pay his bill. And poor money was going to be the money to pay his rent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. money was going to be the one to pay his rent. Now, because he's not getting poor money, that means the women that he got, that he hired to push this thing, they are not pushing it well. No. So what but, he does, he goes to them. You guys need to push it. You guys need to push it. You guys need to push this thing. Push this yeah. thing faster because she is getting to her. So when he see Cora now feeling well, you guys need to push, push because I will give her the money and then turn the more the money come, we'll give it to you. Why can't he go work? You can pay the children hospital bill. You can pay the children school fees. You mm -hmm. can pay nothing for the children. She bought a place and carried her children. You yeah. sitting down there not doing nothing, but you want mm -hmm. children? Is that the only mm -hmm. way you will survive mm -hmm. in America? You mm -hmm. man? To be a babysitter, that's the only way for Cora to pay you when she has the ability to take care of her children. Yes, she will right. give them to you. Mm -hmm. She will give you forty thousand dollar, give you ten thousand dollar, turn around, give you fifty thousand dollar, and turn around again. Start paying you money for every month. Your pains will come down, but you will never get it. Amen. They will take you out of that rented house, but Cora will never give you money. If you think that mm -hmm. you got an African woman that you're going to use. To get that money from them to go and pay your bill, to live on her. You're not going to be that leech anymore Amen. in your life. Amen. Because you, you completely Amen. sound like a gigolo in America. Amen. You are a gigolo. Why would you want to live on a young woman that you are older than? 
Exactly. Where other than Cora? When you can go to work. You, you can go to work. Yeah. You don't want to go to work. You want to do drugs. You don't want to go to work. So Cora will go and work her. Then you will take the money. That's why you're going to live on. Mm. Then he hire all these fools around. He hire all these fools to work for him. Mm -hmm. And the, the fools happens. are doing it and nothing coming out of it. No. Can you imagine you hire fools yes. and they are fool Good like time. yourself and they keep pushing nothing coming and you're making yourself stupid to the court and the judges. I'm telling you. You keep going to the place and making yourself a fool because they mm -hmm. already know that you are a fool and they have already signed for this guy to give you $50,000. You are a fool. Then you stay fighting hard when they hear the children cry. Who child can cry? Right. Who child can cry? Mm. Every child. I can cry. Who will make a child? Then you go get a doctor from the hospital because the very minute the, the, the child is out of the womb, the first thing the doctor wants to hear is for the child to cry. Yes. So, so if you stop a child from crying, go to the doctors. That the first group that will go to jail before Cora. I'm telling you. The doctors in the delivery right. room will be the one to go to jail before Cora. Exactly. <laughs> and some of you mother right. sitting now yeah. over there. Yes. Yeah. Some of you mothers yeah. sitting out over there with your children crying. There's so many women who go to jail because men don't know. even take care of their children. They can lay down in the room and the mama get it up. They will tell the mother, your, 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 your baby up, your baby crying. Baby's crying, yeah. So if the crying thing that what you're bringing, then every mother will go to jail because our children cry. We'll let them cry. Because right. it helps their lungs. It helps exactly. strengthen their lungs. Yes, it does. Is Cora the only rich woman that had a baby, that had babies by a poor man who don't want to work? Is she, no. she the only woman that came to America and working hard but was married to a poor man who had nothing, who don't want to work and lazy? Mm -mm. So she's going to solve her everything. She's going to give him money. After he takes the money, then he come back and start crawling all over the place, hiring people to bully her so that they can take the children from her. You'll be watching her. You'll be watching her. You'll go to your meeting and do everything. It will not work, let me tell you. Amen. All you need to go and find yourself a child. They just need because your behavior, you, you will continue. At the end of the day, you will end up with child support. Yeah. If you don't stop doing these things and the I'm judge get to find out, they will kick yeah. you out of the court and tell you they don't want to see your face. You waited again for the next six months. You waited again for the next six months so you can go back. And you're still going to be a failure. you still going to be a failure. Why did you yeah. reject the $50,000? You got that one. Light bulb. You can't screw it in your house. Cora was the man. Light bulb. I'm telling you. Yes, she was. You couldn't screw it in your house. Waiting for a landlord to come and do it for you. Which landlord will get you a place to rent and they will keep coming there to come school like ball for you? Yeah, especially a man. Your lazy man sitting down who don't want to work, but you want to live on her? Mm. I mm. love my girls. My girls, my girls. How well you love your girls when you can't even pay their school fees? I'm telling you. You can't even you. You take them to hospital when they're sick. Right there. Yes. When you say you are sick. Every time the children go to your house, the children sick, you don't take them to the hospital. They got to come to Cora before Cora will take them to the hospital. You take them. Nothing you do for the children, them. but you Thanks. want the children to come to you so that you can take the children so like, and Cora will be paying you for yeah. 18 years. That's you want to now already calculate how much the Cora will pay for those two children mm -hmm. and how much it will cost within 18 years. The same time you will be cussing her and you will be telling the children things about her yeah. and she shouldn't come around her children. How yeah. wicked and devilish you are. I'm telling you. You can't move on with your life. Cora, move on. She's not even That's dreaming true. about you. No. She bought a house you came by to come show that dimensions. You come show <laughs> and parameters. Right, square feet. And oh we will ask you for your license. You can't show it to us, but you can show our parameters, dimensions, how, yeah. how many rooms, how many days. How you can tell us the difference between condo and condo. And you are the kingdom. 
Imagine. Yo, una place you live is the kingdom. She bought a condo, you got a kingdom. So what's the difference? You renting in the kingdom and she bought a condo. Oh, no. oh. And what a problem. Exactly. What's the problem? Mm -hmm. You sit over there every day. You got the women all around, all of them crazy behind you. Crazy behind you to do. Now you're talking about, uh -huh, look at my son. My, 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 my gray, my gray. You get gray yet. The gray going to oh. come more. The other places you can only show the side. But you got other places you. that are more gray than ever we can think about. Right. You know, I got the young girls running from you. Because for Cora business, you're not going to get married. Because of Cora, you're not going to have no girlfriend. Because of Cora, you're not going to move on with your life to go and work and make money to right. take care of your children. I'm what are you me. laying off for your children? All the rich people, you want to be the rich and famous. You want to be the Beverly Hill. You want to go to the other place. You want to be with the rich. You think you're going to lay down home to make drama, to create saga on social media? And that will make you. Famous? Yeah, that will make you the rich and famous. Don't worry like that right and you're going to be the rich and sagas i'm telling you the rich in sagas that anybody ever saw on social media you are rich in sagas hmm. very rich in saga because you go behind the scene then you come back with something else now you show them how you eating steak one of the worst and cheapest food that you can sell on social media you trying to tell the people in Europe, trying to tell the people in the UK, all the other places in Canada that you can eat steak. <laughs> you want to eat steaks in America, can't eat it. Cheap, right, right in the market, you can get anything. Cheap. Yeah, that's true. Some people right. don't even want to eat steaks. But because you know the people that you say they are not critical thinkers, they the one can see you doing that and say, oh yeah, he's eating steak, he's eating steak. You're looking good today. Ah, you're looking good today. Looking good where? No man will look good if he doesn't stand for himself and his children. To go and Amen. work and take the responsibility of his children. You can look good or look good. The best man that will look good is the man who stands for his children. Amen. That is true. And then we come to the, to the nanny. As yeah. a woman of God. Cora, if you are listening to this line, it is the fact that you cannot hire any nanny. You cannot hire any nanny that you cannot communicate with well. Amen. From the first day when I saw what that lady did, yeah. I said, this yes. is wrong. I said it. Remember, woman of God I said, I know, but it is wrong. Right. But we are in America here. We see, we know. Oh, yeah. Yes. This man live in California. The nanny live in California. This is a devious, devious human being that you are living, you are you are dealing with. Very devious. This man is devious. He's a snake. For that woman to look mm. at the mirror, the camera. The camera. Mm -hmm. First of all, she had no business to your food that you were cooking. Right. Hear me. Hear me. Where? I'm that you. woman going to your food while you have your food on the pot, on the on the fire. She had no business to go no nope. to see in the food that you were cooking to see what you were cooking. That's number one. To turn around and see the camera and never and was so complacent before the camera and even took the baby hair and waved it to the camera. Yeah. She waved to the camera and wait. That's somebody who didn't even understand what you told them. About yeah. the children Absolutely. not coming before the camera. Right. She didn't understand it. She don't know nothing. Why? Because the language she speaks is for you. And the woman, yes. of course, said, by language. Yes, by language is better. Because if the person can speak English and speak Spanish, it's also good for the children. Yeah. Yes. And you're not going to communicate with somebody who cannot communicate with you well. Mm -hmm. And it's also difficult for the children. Absolutely. How the children, how are you going to understand, how she going to understand children what, the care, children say? what the children say? Yeah. She won't understand it. How she yeah. going to relate to you and say, Julie said this, or yeah. Julie said she wanted this, or Julie did this. She's not exactly. going to be able to communicate with you. 
So you need somebody who will be able to communicate with you well. Because you are dealing with a devious human being. A very crafty snake that you are dealing with. A snake mm -hmm. in the green grass. Deal with someone that will be able to speak Spanish and English. Even if they don't speak Spanish, but they don't mm -hmm. speak English, that you will communicate with them well. Exactly. Because you also want the children to communicate with that person well. And they mm -hmm. also should communicate with your children well. Yes. You want that. Amen. You don't just hire anybody. And don't let nobody mm. just be anybody and say, you got to use your fingers and you got, they're going to put you in more trouble than ever. I'm telling you. Because anybody can throw sand to the enemy, agree. That right. man, let me tell you, because the people know you got nanny, that man is devious. He just saw you, bought a house, he went on Google. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You just bought a house, 1.6 million. <laughs> He all confused on Google. What make you think? He will not go back somewhere around your house right. to see when right. the nanny will be leaving your house to go, home. Exactly. to go home. He will park somewhere in a car to wait for that nanny to leave your house yeah. and follow that nanny and tell that nanny exactly. what to do. Mm -hmm. That's why it was very, very efficient to me when I saw her came to look in your path is dangerous for you when i saw right. her taking saw the camera they didn't move from the camera took the baby here and waved the baby here. exactly this man and nobody should tell me or maybe he don't know yes he can know this is america all he had to know that because the two and a half nannies before right. and they one bedroom that mean the nanny is not sleeping in the bell in the room there with them mm -hmm. the nanny will not sleep on the couch so the nanny will have to go home all right. they have she had to do is to pack one block away from where cora laid and wait that for the nanny true. to come out and follow the nanny you're right right and you follow the nanny and give the nanny money this is what i want you to do why you think that nanny will be brave to tell the baby to shake to, to wave to the camera hmm. why hmm. this man got any opportunity behind the ghetto chair. the same way he came on google right. to find out what the house you bought where where it is taking the address and everything this man is evil the entire family this is the life they live this is the life they live. That's why the mother knew exactly what the son was going to do. They had their plan. That's yeah. why everything he called her, she's aware. Right. She's right. aware of everything. Everything that took place in Cora House, this woman is aware. Let me tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. This is America. Oh, yes. Get someone that you will be able to communicate with. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And anyone that you bring, you 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 give them warning, you explain to them the situation that is on ground. Right. And you make them to know that no matter where it is, they come to your children, you will fire them. You saw exactly. the mistake when I'm cooking anything in the fire, whatever I'm doing, it's not of your business. Right. Do not go around my kitchen when I'm cooking. When I'm putting things around you are only here for the children and the children, the children. don't bring exactly. that african friendship no yeah. because this man that you are dealing with is a devious him of being right anybody that come in, in your house they are closer to you and possibility there in america that he can look for that that person he can yeah. follow that nanny he, he can look he has, has so many means people. of meeting that nanny yes he can meet yeah. that nanny Oh, if yeah. you meet that nanny, he's going to talk to that nanny. The same way he used to talk to your friends, he will pack somewhere and wait for that nanny while they go home oh, and yeah. tell that nanny yeah. everything about you and tell the nanny, I will pay you, but I want you to do this. Exactly. <laughs> it's, it's true. And let me tell you, he's a devious human being. You see, I, he turned the Nigerian women against you, your own people from, from your country. Mm -hmm. You see how he turned all your friends against you. You see what, what he did. He went follow you to your own party where he went with you. And he told the men to line up because he wanted right. to bring you down, to degrade you. Mm. 
remember the behavior of this individual is a wicked person is no one that you can play around when it comes to wickedness is to the highest level all these women that come in all of them in the truck he communicated with all of them all these people that are going saying all these things to Quran, he is communicating with them yeah most of them he's communicating with them because he wanted his aim to be accomplished and what he aimed to be accomplished is for the children to come to him yes yes that's all it's all about so that he can get paid yeah and he promising them when i start getting that money i will help you maybe he even promising some of them i will marry you and he will take care of the baby do not, do not give him chance so if you don't want a snake to bite you don't hold it by the tail hold it by anybody here because you hold it by the tail it will swing around to bite you mm -hmm. and when mm -hmm. you see that grab snake they always make sure the dangerous part of it that's what it can grab grab the head mm -hmm. grab the head okay? the tail can wrap around your head but once you get it the head where the poison come from where the teeth is what it depends on the snake depend on the hair more than the tail. Make sure that this individual you are dealing with on the line of your children, he doesn't want to do anything. He's there watching every nanny that will come to your house. Exactly. Every nanny that will come to your house. Oh, yes. I wish it was exactly. like those days that you could find a way for someone that you know one of your family somebody you can trust like somebody you can trust, trust. one of your family to help you mm -hmm. to do this ministry somebody that you can trust you need someone that you will yes. not find no way to to penetrate through no you need somebody no you need a family exactly or you need a live in nanny For any nanny that will come to your house and drive to go home, he got the opportunity to catch them and meet with them. He can catch up with them. Exactly. But if you get a live in nanny, he will not be able to catch them like that mm -hmm. because they are living in. He will not be able. Your code, your gate is slack. He will not be able to do that because they are live in nanny. If you can do that, that will be better for you. Yeah. Yeah. But don't let no nanny that will come in your house and they have to drive to go home. He will catch them on the way. That is true. Watch out for that. You're right, mom. And I pray that you will get where we are praying for you. Yes, we are. Pray that you get where. Take some water and lay your hand. Your right hand is powerful. God always talks about his right hand. We are the children of the Most High. Amen. He created us in his image and likeness. Take your right hand, take your water, present it to God, lift it up to God. Say, I'm asking for my healing. Please heal me. And after you ask him, believe it and you drink Amen. it and you will be healed. Amen. Those are praying for bad things to happen to Cody. Right. You are digging yeah. your own grave. Hmm. You are doing something <laughs> that God does not want. God is the one that gave the children to Cora and he knows why he gave them to her. Amen. And you are there praying to who I don't right. know for her to lose those children. Your, your battle mm -hmm. is not with Cora, it's with God. Thank you, you and Sonia. God will fight that battle. Amen. You are doing you. it now. You laughing and you making it as right. a point. But there's a time coming. You will feel the truth. You will feel the knife yeah. that you are using to cut Cora. You will feel that same knife will cut you. Amen. The same hammer that you are using to hit Cora on the head, that very hammer will come back and hit you on the head. Amen. Remember. But there is a God. 
Thank you, woman of God. Thank you, ma'am. I wish you a God bless you. Okay. Thank you, Thank you. people of God. Thank you. They love you. All right, ma'am. And for any Korean, I know there's Koreans, I should say. That's also going through whether you're in the hospital, whether you just got discharged, no matter what, we're praying for you as well. Because sometimes people don't say things or type their business in here and everything, but there are people that are also going through. They might be watching us from the hospital, or again, like I said, maybe they just got out of the hospital. Know that we are praying for you as well and keeping you in prayer each and every day. Welcome back, Jacqueline. Yes, sweet peach. Just yes, to probably. jump in and put a little interjection into what Mama just said. Yes. You know, all these celebrities don't watch their kids, right? Right. They have nannies too. Yes, they do. But those nannies have to sign an NDA. Mm -hmm. You cannot come out and talk and say right. nothing concerning them. Mm -hmm. this is just it's not an advice this is what yes. i would suggest it may be a little more expensive for cora mm -hmm. but i would have gone to an agency yes and let them know let me get a, a certified mm -hmm. a professional babysitter Mm -hmm. that you and as i said english is a must that have yes. to be your primary language mm -hmm. that Absolutely. you will know that they will know it would be in the agencies and we sign those documents that certain things are off limit you know right. going back to what her brother-in-law and her sister said you do not do business with people that have nothing to lose right you know it because does. now if you come from an agency and they go against the agency policy mm -hmm. they will you can sue them yes. you know and when people know that this is what is going to happen they will walk the line but you pick up people from anywhere and things like that you would have problems they have nothing to lose and right. as mama said he can wait for that woman outside yes. somewhere people can trace her okay. and guess what they can bribe her but if you get a professional person mm -hmm. and you, we're gonna make sure because everybody now know that baby set the face right in my opinion me being in her place she would have been gone that same day i don't want nobody knowing if you put her up on the road with the kids that's a whole different thing but yes. then she or whoever is the babysitter will have known once they come from an agency mm -hmm. you know certain things are off limits exactly it's true you know so we have to channel our energies and our comments in the right way so that it may meet Cora if ever she listened to this it may cost yes, a couple yes. of dollars more but it would be the best for you <laughs> nobody would want nobody should know who your babysitter is exactly. because she's exactly. already on social media that's true they Deber deliberately she came and I don't care what nobody said that's my opinion I know she did it on purpose I said that from day one. But Corin mm -hmm. needs, I can't say needs, mm -hmm. just a suggestion. Yes. That is what she should do or think about right. to tackle that problem and kill the um the the whole drama with the babysitter. Yeah. These are children, they must cry. What if you they're they're not living in a in a in in, in, in restriction? That's their home. Right. They have to cry. If their mother works on social media, you will hear them in the background. Mm. You be in mm. your office and they're doing construction outside. Could you tell the construction people not to make nice cars exactly. you're hearing them? No. <laughs> you're right. It happens. Oh yeah. These people are so they just want to just make themselves known mm -hmm. and you're doing it in the right way you are going about it the wrong way go get a life some of y'all go 
Hello, run up and get mm -hmm. some life. Go on, find something constructive to, to do, do with your time and your thinking. Right. It would right. profit you right. more. Yes. It would profit you much more. So I'm gone again, but I'm still here listening. Thank you so much, Jabby. God bless you, darling. God bless you, too. Thank you. Good morning, sis. Fraser, how are you? I'm awesome. Good morning. It's been a minute. How are you feeling? Yes, darling. You know, um, I'm in total agreement with Mama yeah. and with Jacqueline. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I tell you, I try to keep my, <laughs> not to um, listen to too many bloggers. I keep them at two, you know, because everyone yeah. has their opinions. And, you know, it fully mm -hmm. frustrates me. Um, it was a blogger that, you know, and I got up this morning because I'm home today. Yeah. And a blogger. Um, she's on and mm -hmm. me just scrolling I stopped to listen because every time I see the hashtag Cora I stopped right. to, you know just to get a little insight of what people are saying because from right. what I see she's doing awesome she was she was doing good before but she's doing extremely awesome and mm -hmm. um, it really disturbed me on how a lot of people um, they try to put they, themselves in Cora's um, shoes when they're shoes. not even on, you know, on her level. Right. Um, they try to look at her and say, well, take time off of social media and attend mm -hmm. to your kids and this, that, and the third. And right. I don't under, I don't think these people totally understand what her job is. Social media has turned into where she okay. was teaching people or telling people how to use social media as a business and, right. and I don't and it upsets me that this lady had told her was she made a lot of saying well um you a billionaire you you have all this money you mm -hmm. need to take time off and attend to your children and the only mm -hmm. thing that I kind of agree with like with, with everyone else is the nanny situation yeah. you know um like with Jacqueline get an NDA have these people sign agreements you um contract and stuff what they should and shouldn't do and right. like i seen the video where the nanny had walked in front of the camera and she was waving and i don't think she did it intentionally but mm -hmm. it's the language barrier and the understanding that yeah. was the issue and as far as the nanny situation i'm I'm quite sure cora is not trying to just fire the lady and you know mm -hmm. but i do believe that mm -hmm. she's trying to give her a chance you know but yeah. that will that is a situation that will have to change and how the nanny mm -hmm. feels even because i think i was watching a lot the other day and i said oh my god it right. kind of indirectly said oh, wait a minute why is it those children is always always crying when the nanny is there so that's mm -hmm. the only thing that i kind of dealt with but as yeah. a working woman myself when we are sick we still have to come to work yes. why is it that people telling her don't mm -hmm. um take time off they think because she's sitting in her home making live videos that this is not her job exactly. that is her job people have said, went to work knowing that they had covid knowing they right? have pneumonia knowing they exactly. had the flu and, and still because they have to pay bills for so what i understand Mm -hmm. That's right. Cora has said something about the bill that finally came when she took June to a thing. Um, not June. I'm sorry, Athena to the doctor. Yeah. It sounds as if she's paying out of pocket. The right. money that California is not cheap at all. Since COVID, cost of living and expenses has went skyrocketed. How You're can right. you tell somebody to take time off? The woman, they don't even know what she paid for her pay for her home mm -hmm. other than the house costs a certain amount why would you tell somebody to take time off work to yeah. cut off the social media because you don't because you think that you know what's best for her and her children exactly. and, I, and, the, and the thing of it is it was a black woman why are Ooh. you as a colored woman i think i, I heard that where you from? That you're talking about yeah why why are you as and then at the end because i was like i kept fast forwarding it fast forward because i said let me hear let me get what she's trying to get to right she said well mm -hmm. i think that um what she said i think that um justin is the better for the man is off social media because he cannot make no money with the children right that's exactly the no content that that no man content got on social media no content 
He has no content. And, exactly. and you know, when, because you know, sometimes when you go to the watch, he come up on other people's page and nothing yeah. that he's saying is interesting. So for you to right. say, because he's not on social media, that he is a better parent, you know, every time when children come home, they come home sick. He, yes. He has, he, for him to even call himself or you put doctor in front of his name is an insult to professionals. And it disturbed me. You know, Just I told you that I try yeah, not to come on live and because I don't try to get emotional about situations and I don't speak unless something really bothers me. But that lady really upset at me this morning. And I'm home and I'm, I'm cooking. I said, what is she talking about? Mm. Exactly. How dare you? You, you? Of course, you said, you know who I'm talking about. How dare you as and a colored woman? Yeah, so because someone, I think someone had the nerve to try to post that in my group. And Normally, when people post videos, try well. I gotta prove it. So what I'll do when I see those kind of bloggers, I will tap on it a little bit to hear what they're talking about. And if they go in a negative way, no, my that post is declined. So that's how mm -hmm. I ended up hearing a little bit. Of, but I didn't hear the end of it because I didn't listen that long. But the mm -hmm. thing about it is that when you said that at the age, you said that that person's a better peer. So the better parent gave a 10-month-old baby raw red peppers to eat, raw cauliflower to eat, a baby oh. you, uh, that you could have choked my child. And God forbid you went to the toilet for five minutes or something, my child could have been dead out there from choking. It's a These people don't, don't make sense. It's a disgrace for people to even suggest that time of, oh, well, the better off. It's a disgrace. For, and it's not even men that's doing it. It's women. It's and most of it, and, and, excuse my French, because I'm, 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 I'm half biracial, so I'm not racist at all. Right. But it's not, we understand white people say things like that because they're ignorant and they just speaking off how they want to speak. But when we are <laughs> black people, black women that sits there and go along with the mayhem, how, like, is it, like, I be feeling like, is there something wrong with, with women nowadays where they just go along with just anything? Right. It bothers me. The man, nothing that I seen that man do other than Cora did say he's a good father. He treat, he might treat them good, but when it comes right. to knowing how to be a parent, he's a first time parent just like she is. It's so for, exactly. him to, for them to even suggest that he's a better parent, you don't know who the better parent is. You go off of your no. biasness because she's accessible. Rihanna walked around, no. she still walked around half naked, show her that every celebrity yep. that you can think of you in the it. social media walk around half naked, they shake their butt, yep. Beyonce yep. goes on stage and so why is it because it's Cora? Is it because she exactly. is African and there's a lot of Africans feel as though they can relate to her? Because the machine that runs behind celebrities, you can't even right. the, the, the stuff that they type doesn't mean don't even make it to don't make it to nothing. So I guess it's because of social media they feel like, oh, she's relatable. I can talk to her. She talks to us and this, that, and the third. And it's a community where people get together and stuff. I think is that's what it is. Cause I'm trying to understand why is it that they always come for Cora? Cause I don't mm -hmm. see no I don't I have yet and as a mother, my child is 16. And when yes. you are a parent, you don't do everything right. The parenthood does not come with a instruction book. Exactly. You understand? Know you go yes, by sir. what you think how you was raised how you want to raise your children right. your your beliefs right. your faith things like that what is it that's different between cora and other people right hmm. they just want to project their hate and everything else that they go up going on against cora that's all it's all about but i'm but, but honestly right. I, the her new song i thought the last one was good this one is awesome yes i mean it gets yeah. better and better and better and that's what i wanted to tell the to say to different people that's listening why is it that you keep focusing on her children her lifestyle focus on what is making like her music is so powerful mm -hmm. and it's awesome you know yeah. like let's celebrate i want to keep see people be real man, keep streaming yes i want yeah keep streaming yeah. i said wait a minute she said um what she said jackson jacksonville i said wait a minute where i'm from i'm, I'm, I'm streaming all the time i'm streaming every day you know i'm, telling I'm, I'm you. exercising to the Blowing music that, and i just in the house yeah yes darling Go ahead. Yes. yes but i don't want to waste too much time thank you here thank you so much darling god bless you good hearing you yes ma'am all right bye-bye um hi gary Gary, 
Gary, Gloria, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Gary, I'm sorry. Ahead, I hear you. Gloria. Sorry. Okay. So oh. he's not going for the twenty first. Who? Oh, okay. Gary, what's going on? No, sorry, sorry. I was on a call. I was on a call. Good morning, Koreans. Good morning, Sweet Peach. How are you feeling? I can't hear you. Good morning, sir. Okay, I hear you now. It, yeah, you see, I'm beginning to sound like you, but I wanted to say something. Um. Yeah. When I come out here, sometimes yeah. when all this noise is going on out there, please, everybody, let's not forget the audio, the leaked audio. Let's not forget that leaked audio. That is his playbook. That is what they're going off of. All these things that are happening neutralize her environment it doesn't matter where what or how the environment looks they want to neutralize her environment don't forget that people please it is his playbook that leaked audio is what is playing and it will continue to play neutralize her environment when he was out last week when this thing that looks like the early man do you all remember early man back in the days early man that is his new name early man i'll call him early man now anybody that knows the story about the early man how they look that's exactly what he looks like but my thing is when with all these things going on i want us not to forget because that is how we're going to understand what he is doing the leaked audio talked about neutralizing her environment this is what is is playing in front of her, of her our faces this is what they're doing last week the whole of last week was the s tape i will repeat myself so it can make sense to all of us this now is the nanny nanny yes the nanny doesn't understand or speak english i have a nephew she is 19 years or he is 19 today his nanny was a Mexican who never understand even the word there. Come here, she will look at you. Mm -hmm. But if I tell you today that my nephew is 19 years old, for some reason, when my nephew was like 12, 13, she went home to visit her family and because her paperwork was not in place she never came back wow. on my nephew's 19th birthday they met at cancun because we took her him there that is how we re, they, we had to uh, see her again but we've stayed in communication she learned english in my, my cousin's house she took the best care of these kids every child in that house came to know her she was very very motherly yes the nanny here may be an issue because she don't understand english but is she nurturing we don't know we don't live in that house yeah because we don't get to see them Mom. we don't get to see them kids mm -hmm. If kids don't cry, something is wrong. When you when you give birth, what is the first sign that the baby is okay? Yeah, uh, 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 uh. If they don't do that, 
the whole room is in panic, right? Mm -hmm. This is the playbook of neutralizing her environment. They will shoot these things out to get us panic, get her panic, put the whole place ablaze. Please, let's not key into that. The nanny, the nanny again, I just hope and pray that she is from an agency that is registered. Mama said some things. She is right. If your work in that house is to take care of the kids, let her concentrate with the kids. Remember, this, when you start changing people that come into your house, you don't know the spirits that they bring in there. Let's, I just think she's trying to give the nanny a chance. The kids are not used to the nanny. First of all, the kids are displaced. This week they go over there, they see an early man looking like he's just out from the forest. Or don't, don't you all think that his face can uh, catch stuff and make those, uh, especially the baby sick? Look at his face. Look at the way he looks very unkempt. Gary, Gary mm -hmm. I want to ask you one question. Imagine, just if this just popped into my head mm -hmm. when you said one week with the mother, one week over there. Mm -hmm. Don't you think that the one week when the baby, when the kids are with their dad, maybe that nanny could be taking up an English class, whether it's online or somewhere. I'm just, this is just came in my head, okay? Exactly. And maybe she might have another job. Only God knows. Uh, yeah. Thank uh, you. Thank you. So maybe, maybe she might have, an, have another job, but I mean, I'm just saying. You know, okay, don't shoot, don't shoot the messenger. I'm not even the messenger, but that just came in my head. That's a that one week when the kids are with their dad, she could be doing English class two or three times per week. And she really want to keep the job. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, she got to be able to communicate with Corey. And Corey has a busy life, meaning when the kids are not recording, Corey is doing her thing, getting her music, going her photo shoots and stuff. Corey ain't got no time to teach her no English either like that. You know, I'm just saying. But go ahead. And, and sweet fish, that is a wonderful idea. And that is what we all can come here and contribute a little ideas to to make sure that these kids that we are more concerned about have the life that they need. Not to come here all the time and play along his playbook. The nanny can take an English class. Tomorrow, if somebody else come and the kids come back and they see another face, they're going to get more confused. What happened to the other uh, uh, mommy that we had? Where's the other grandma? You you know, it's confusing to them. Grandma, so, went, back to, grandma went back to Spain or something. Yeah, like the grandma went back to Spain. Now we have, uh, we have another grandma looking kidding. like looking, looking like uh, who don't know what this one is going to look like. No. English class, I approve that message. I approve that 100%. Gary, one I'll last thing. Not, I don't mean to keep cutting off. One minute, one minute. For me personally, I would say that the nanny needs to go. Let me tell you why. Mm -hmm. The nanny has already been exposed. If my nanny goes to the supermarket, Trader Joe's, uh, BJ's or Sam's Club or wherever, she's already been exposed. She put herself, she's already been on my camera. People see her. Mm -hmm. Now she's out there. She's out of my house. She's not working that week when the kids are not with me. She's shopping and people say, oh, you're the daddy that I saw on camera at Cora's house. Mm -hmm. And God forbid if it's people that speak Spanish, you don't know what they're saying. Because she might speak so yeah, 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 see, see, see. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm just saying, okay, the nanny has already been exposed. The nanny can't speak my language. We can't communicate. I don't even know what she's telling the people out there when they bump to her in Sam's Club that are speaking Spanish when I'm not there. So for me, I would have to let Stabby let her go for those reasons, okay? You but, are correct. Okay. Okay. And, and I was going to come to that. Who is it that I just want to... Um, if I, I'm Can not, I finish I'm, real quick because I need to get off the phone, please. Okay, yeah, because I, I wanted you to hear it also. Go ahead quickly, Gary. Go ahead, go ahead quickly, Gary. No, I just wanted to say that, Sweet Peach, you, yeah. you, you said the same thing that I was going to say. We, we, we can agree to disagree on certain things. 
the yeah. fact that just like you said the fact that the nanny has been uh, exposed if the nanny mm -hmm. because uh, Cora tried to keep her under wrap until she came on the camera by herself mm -hmm. so now that she is being exposed we don't know what led to that even to the extent where she had the baby to wave at the camera and all right. of that looking into her food her security the kids security is paramount at this time her living where she is and the kids coming back and being sick she herself is sick now for the simple fact that the nanny has been exposed mm -hmm. it is time yes she can make that decision me and you cannot make that decision for her she can make that decision if she listen to us it's gonna cost a little bit more, like Mama said, like everybody has said. Cora, when you get a new nanny, never. We don't know who is taking care of Beyonce's kids. We don't know who is taking exactly. care of any of these stars. Yeah. Do not bring your nanny out here. And if they make that kind of mistake to come to your life on the spot, let them go. Compromise. They, compromise. they have been compromised you did not yep. do it don't be guilty about it but this time it is safety 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 and again reminder guys what is going on now is that leaked audio neutralize her environment the nanny everything of Cora will be attacked but is Cora gonna but I, I saw your page, sweet page. You say Cora is a brand and she's gonna remain a brand. Tommy mm -hmm. Figa is he, that was not that was not my post. Maybe I like oh somebody posted that in the group. Oh, that okay, okay. It was posted by somebody else. Yes, yeah. Cora ahead, is a brand, she will remain a brand. Tommy he figure is there, Givinci is there, Gucci is there. Who, who name it? All those brands yeah. are there. Cora's brand is going to stay. It has come to stay. Deal with it. And I pray you get better, sweet peace. Cora, so get much. well soon. You'll yes. be fine. It shall Just, be done. Yes. 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 Thank you so much, darling. Thank you, well, audio, the leak audio is the one that uh the early man i call him early man now that's how he looks gary, gary do you need that explain? <laughs> somebody in the comments will answer that darling Did somebody else <laughs> check that? i think it was gloria next thank you gary bye, somebody bye, in the yo. comments will answer that thank you so much gary <laughs> gloria i know you were up here next darling yeah hello sweet bitch hi how are you Hello everyone, I'm good. good. Mm. I just want to ask Nigerians a question. I'm also I'm a Nigerian. I'm a Nigerian, so people should not get me wrong. Because this issue of Cora and um paparazzi's divorce, I think the Nigerians they are doing the most. They are doing the most. And it's kind of confusing. From my own understanding, he has been married before, right? And was mm -hmm. divorced, right? Mm -hmm. So what happened to his first marriage? Why are they not dragging his first wife? Why are they not dragging her? Why is Cora's divorce with him an issue? What? What? She's in. She's in. She's in. They can't get to her like that. I, I don't understand. What is this? Is it not the same divorce that he got divorced with Cora that he got divorced with the first wife? Or is this something different i need to understand because this my nigerian women they are doing the most and this is like witchcraft this is like which how can you come out stand up against your own daughter your own child why because she chooses to live a toxic marriage a toxic relationship this is not this man's first marriage, for Christ's sake. Right. This is not his first marriage. What happened to his first marriage? 
why did his first wife leave him? Nobody is asking that question. And then if his first wife could leave him, could divorce him, which is his own race, and it is not a time for a black woman to divorce him. Right. Is a black or I don't know if it's because I don't know how strong it is because mentality. One moment. Okay. Gail, can you mute your end, please? There's a lot of static, a lot of noise. Okay. Thank you. Go ahead, Gloria. So this slavery mentality from Nigerians, why do you people want to crucify your own daughter for living a toxic marriage? What is a crime? Exactly. This has been married before where is his first wife why is none of you dragging her you are dragging Cora you want to get Cora's money as in you want anything that will pull out money from Cora to this man why what is your interest mm -hmm. what is your question. interest Is Cora not bleeding red like his ex-wife? Is Cora not human like his ex-wife? Exactly. What is the difference between Cora? And... Is it because Cora is a public figure, someone that is working hard? Sorry, my AC, so you get to hear the next. That's is okay. It because she's someone that is working hard, struggling. I don't know, because to me, if you check it, it all boils down to Cora's money. I've said this severally. That's what they are fighting over. Yeah. Because there is not, I'm telling you, if Cora has no job, has nothing, and is a struggle, is not uh, a, 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 a should I say public figure? I'm telling mm -hmm. you, none of these women will come out to drag Cora. Right, that's true. None of these women to, will come out to. I keep saying it from the one money, money, right. that, get a that is nanny. True. You have money, get a nanny. She have a nanny, it's a problem. You have money, get a house. Get a bigger house, else you lose your kids. She got a house, it became a problem. I right. thought they would be celebrating. I'm telling you. <laughs> I thought they would be yeah. celebrating. I thought they would right. appreciate her, tell her. And I see somebody, a woman who has stayed more than 30 years in abroad with everything she has done so far, bullying kids, adults, whatsoever. She is still living in a government house. Mm. But you see this little girl, this little girl that is old enough to be your daughter. Right. After everything you guys have put her through, she was able to get a good home for her and her daughters. Instead of appreciate, if you can't appreciate her, just keep quiet. And then you come out, you exactly. are telling her why her ass congratulates her. If her ass ever lived in a good home since the earth was with her for crying out loud was it Cora that is going to make us give him a good life hmm. so they expect Cora to give him a good life but he's not expected to give Cora a good life right because that's the way it should you have been right married, you got married to this girl brought her to nothing and she came over, being a hard-working child, she worked hard and made sure she provided for you and your kids. When Cora was providing, when Cora was making him look important before us, before the whole world, nobody yes. called Cora a bad no. mother. No. Nobody no. called Cora a bad wife. Exactly. You're right. Nobody called 
Cora names. Nobody call her a slut or a prostitute or mm -hmm. a scammer. No. Exactly. She was providing for this man, taking care of this kid, and for crying out loud, mm -hmm. June used to cry in Cora's video. Nobody has ever called her a negligent mom. Right. Cora used to take June to the kitchen to cook everything. Nobody complained. Then all of a sudden, she was mm. divorced. Cora became a bad mother. She became a, a prostitute, a scammer. Right. She became lazy. Yeah. She mm. became lazy. Mm. And all these are coming from none other but the Nigerian sector of Africa, especially mm. the Nigerians. Nigerians, we ought to be ashamed of ourselves because this is painful. Yeah. This is painful, okay? Your own daughter, I've never seen this is like you carried your own child and then you put it on a slaughter machine. Right. right. Mm. Why? Mm. This man has, has a wife before and most of us get to know okay careful with that please so most of us get to know after the divorce right he came out to right. say it himself so still ask this man what happened to his face why is he dragging cora so much why is he not dragging the other wife why yeah. is he not fighting for custody or whatsoever because we learned he had kids with her right so why is the why cora People should sit down and ask yourself, if you hate somebody, make sure the person has done you wrong before. Exactly. All of you, if they call you, what has this girl done to you? You have nothing to say. Her only crime is to leave a toxic marriage. And because some of you go behind, went to her mail to contact her, you want to know what happened, and she said nothing. Right. It became an offense because... You are a blogger. So since she did not respond to you, you are a blogger. You want to use your page to bring her down, to destroy her because you are angry. She did not. Please. Mm. Most of us reached out to Cora and she never said nothing and we understood. As yeah. Africans, we understood why she was mute for months. We understood why she was mute for months. So I'm begging you, Nigeria, especially the Nigerian bloggers, let this girl be. Please. If you know that this girl has wronged you before, like if she has come to your page to insult you or ever drag you on her, on her page or ever say mm -hmm. anything about you to right. or attack you in one whatever way that you feel is right for you to keep attacking her, to keep bringing her down, then continue. But if she has not, whatever you are doing to her, you will get it a thousand folds. If Amen. you want her children to be taken away from her, I'm telling you, the Lord will take yours away from you. Right. Amen. It's not going to be the CPS. And I do this prayer every day. It's not you want the CPS to take her children, but I'm telling you today, go and mark today's day. If you don't leave Cora alone, be sure whatever you are doing to her, that she offended you first or has done you one wrong or the other first, that you mm -hmm. feel this is the time for you to attack her. If not, I'm telling you, you want CPS to take her kids away from her. The Lord is going to take your kids away from you forever. Amen. You are going to feel that pain, whatever pain you are causing this girl, you are going to feel it. She doesn't come on social media to cry every day, but I know when this girl is offline sometimes, when she sees some of these things, she cries, because even me, who is not Cora, sometimes when I see some of these posts, I cry. Mm -hmm. It's so painful. Yeah. Why are they treating her like that? What has she done? This man should go and walk. He's the man in the family. He should go and walk. Just like your own husbands are going to slave themselves for you, even in their old age when they should be resting. 
they are out there working for hours, 80, 90 hours. So you can see that on social media, bully a child. Why you do not, you don't take care of your own kids. But each time you are bullying this girl, ask him to go and work. He should work that divorce, that divorce, that should move on. Cora is trying her best. It's normal for children to cry. Exactly. It's normal for children to cry. Like when when you are working, even when there's a nanny in some home, you see some children they still want their mom's attention. I for Christ's sake, you see they are telling her go off social media. Go off. How many times does Cora come live in a day? Exactly. The higher she stays, when the kids are with her. One minute, one hour. If she stays too long, one hour, that is it. Mm -hmm. What happens to the first 23 hours of the day? Hey, that exactly. You said it. Thank you so much, Gloria, because I got some others waiting, darling. I appreciate you, though. Thank you. Thank you. Well, God bless. Um, Gail. Gail. Hi. Good, Hi, good Gail. morning to everyone. Good morning. Love, guys. We got uh, the angry birds here. Go ahead, Gail. Uh, okay. Uh, first of all, first things first. Um, my sister, you got the rest. You got to take care of yourself because I'm not used to you being like this. Okay. Listen, bolus mm -hmm. on vitamin C. A thousand mm -hmm. milligrams of vitamin C three times a day. My son, over the weekend, called me you know uh he doesn't he lives out of state and and he sounded terrible and i gave him the whole thing to do i said bolus with vitamin c of course drink as much liquid as you can yeah. but the vitamin c builds up your immunity mm -hmm. so a thousand milligrams of vitamin c three times a day so it Thank could you. kill whatever this virus that and it's something that's going around mm -hmm. it is going around mm -hmm. um I just wanted to say when Gary was speaking, you and Gary were speaking about the uh, the nanny. I'm just yeah. going back on my experience. Um, my my mother had dementia, and we had to hire someone. We had to hire people to take care of her, my brother and I, because we obviously couldn't take off our jobs and and be able, to, you know, to take care right. of, especially myself because I'm the female. Um. Mm -hmm. But we, the agency sent this young lady, and, and she ended up being a blessing to the family. She barely spoke any English at all. Mm. Barely spoke any English at all. But we were able to communicate what we needed to communicate with her, and she mm. was able to understand. And she took care. She took care of my mother the best that most of these other people that spoke English did. I had an, there was an American girl, girl that we had, that we had to fire, I had to fire her on the spot wow. for, for, for the thing, things that was happening. Yeah, I had, I came and my mother was complaining about her and, 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 and everything. And, and I know when they have dementia, they have a tendency to, you know, complain because they go back. They're almost like a child. <laughs> And, um, but the, I knew, I said, there's something was going on, wrong. And then I, I, I caught her and, right. and I saw the cigarette butts around the house. Nobody, my mother don't smoke nobody in the house, Well, she's not supposed to be smoking around her. I mean, mm -hmm. just a lot of things that was going on. So I had to end up firing her on the spot and we got this Spanish, this Mexican, um, young lady and believe it or not, she took the time she knew what my mother she 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 took the time to to know my mother yeah. she knew what yeah. my mother liked to eat and that's what she would give her and she would explain it to me in her broken english the best that she could yeah. she knew yeah. the tv shows my mother liked to watch she'll say oh now oh she like it this she like it this and she'll turn the channel to to what my mother would would like to see right. and and that, that was all of the all of the religious programs in the world that's all my mother watched but you know mm -hmm. but you know she's like that's what she liked to see she yeah. and so she took the time so the language with my, 
my experience, and, and there's no way in the world I'm going to, I believe um, that that nanny does not speak a word of English. She may have some English, mm-hmm. basic, broken English, okay. you know, uh, right. uh, knowledge. But there's no way that she purely, like, she just left wherever country she came from and here, don't speak a word. She understands some English. She knows mm-hmm. enough to communicate. She knows enough to get around in the city. She knows enough to go when uh, go to the supermarket or whatever she needs to do. She knows enough yeah. English to for survival. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm saying that mm-hmm. now. But you did make a good point about exposure, though. Mm-hmm. I, I do agree with that because um, some yeah, this we're not dealing with a normal situation, and mm-hmm. we're not dealing with normal people. Right. You know, exactly. so that that might be a point that being that she did expose herself online, mm-hmm. it may be necessary to um, be cognizant of that and and and, and maybe just to find an, uh, 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 someone else or something. Yeah. But I think that there's so much going on in her life with the new move and right. all like that that might be a little bit too overwhelming for her to go and and she's still not even fully packed. I mean it took me what almost a year to be <laughs> unpacked the last time I moved I, I moved I, I'm telling you I was like I, I just couldn't oh lord the thought of moving ever again is like you know so you know it takes a while and she's still unpacking and people are saying oh she's not she's still got boxes she hasn't unpacked yet well obviously you haven't moved ever right (laughs) you must not have moved because we all got horror stories about about oh lord months like you said gary it took you a year it honest to god i think the last box we I, I, i um on i unpacked and what happened was my 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 oldest son was in college, so Ooh. what I did was the extra boxes. I just went and shoved in his room. He's not going to be home for about four or five months, so I should be able to. Oh my God. My God. And then, then we, I said, "Oh Lord, I felt so bad, you know." But he didn't mind, yeah. <laughs> you know. But that that's what that's what we did. Right. So um yeah, the last the last house I was at, it had a two car garage and guess what happened? A lot uh, of them boxes and a lot of them stuff stayed in the garage. Some of them didn't even make it in the house. I bet which you, was a shame. I, I, I well <laughs> listen it is what it is. It is what it is. So I got yeah. to the point that he's a mod, do you want to go through the I said, Listen, I haven't touched that stuff for so long, just dump it. I don't wanna dump look it. at it, exactly. I don't wanna go through nothing i haven't you missed it. it i don't even know what's in there what's just in there? Exactly. drop it yep. <laughs> You're right. so i mean people obviously don't know what it is to be moving that hard mm. you know her, her her um her 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 um uh i forgot yeah. what you say she's 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 ill yeah. she's ill because you know Right. Her stamina and everything is down. Mm-hmm. Everything is down. The stress is weighing on her, dealing with, you know, all these idiots. And I said right. all of them, because it's not just the exactly. one. Exactly. You know, it's all the, 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 the trailer park queens and and, mm-hmm. and the other ones, the Nigerian the bloggers and yeah. all of them. Mm-hmm. All of them are just Wait, it's like a woodpecker pecking at the tree, pecking, 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 pecking weakening mm-hmm. the tree. And, and, and that's that's and what's going on with her. Ernest, you asked the correct. Ernest is saying getting a nanny in California is very difficult. I wish people understand that Cora cannot send a nanny home unless she can find someone else. And absolutely, yeah, that's what She's I said right. in the beginning, too. I would find somebody else first, so once I have them lined up, then I would... But I got that one from an agency or whatever, just have them explain to her in Spanish, but I would make sure I have one lined up first. I would not ever say that she should send her away without even getting a new one lined up. That would be kind of off the chain. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to get my water over here. Go ahead, Gail. Yes. Definitely drink your water. Yes. We want you drinking water. Okay. Um, so, yeah, you're absolutely right. 
Um, yes. It's let me tell you something. Caretakers are hard to find everywhere. Uh, Over oh. here in New York, it's the same thing. We had a we had a hard time. I mean, I had uh, um uh, I had a friend who was who, who was trying to find a babysitter sitting for her um, yes. um for her her grandchildren, trying to help her daughter out. You know, and it is very difficult yeah. finding anybody. It, it is mm-hmm. very, very hard, you know, and yeah, then. It's not easy. No, it's not. So, yeah. you know, but I, 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 I think that, um, I think that nanny, she, that nanny, people say, oh, she don't speak English. She speak enough English that she, that she and Cora can communicate. She, they speak enough. She gets enough across. I was able to speak with uh, my mother's caretaker, and we would have whole conversations. She and her broken, she and her broken English, and me, and me and my little bit broken Spanish, and 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 what little I I I, I knew, and we would we would laugh and 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 watch stuff on TV and I mean whatever she could communicate whatever she needed one time she came and my mother was in crisis yeah. and she didn't like oh, it was another thing that was after the person I was telling you about that we had a fire on the spot and she was yeah. so angry because she did not like the way she met my mother her mother, mm-hmm. mother was um, she was she said um she wasn't bathed properly. She went she the clothes the, and and everything. And she was incensed. She loved my mother like it was her mother. She really did. And mm-hmm. she was incensed. And when we went out, and she was able to communicate it, you know. Wow. Nice. So you know the whole thing about uh, um, you reading all over about people. Oh well, she don't even speak any English, and that's negligent on 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 it. No, it's not. It's and if anything, guess negligent. what? It will familiarize the girls. If they learn some Spanish, what's wrong with that? Yeah. That's a, the, what's wrong with Americans here is that um, the Americans here feel like America is the end or be all. Mm-hmm. And that, and, and that um, um, the language, all you need to know is English. Anywhere I go, you know, I do I, my my side business is travel, and mm-hmm. I actually hear people complain about um, they don't want to go someplace on vacation where nobody speaks English. I mean, mm-hmm. come on, you don't. Oh, I can't. I don't want to go to Dominican Republic because they're Spanish. I don't want to yeah. go to Mexico because they're Spanish. I don't. I don't want to go. I don't, I need to know. I want to go uh, only where they speak English. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, I, I'm like, you don't even give them a try because when they go there, they have staff that's, no, it don't. I mean, you know, when if they travel, and a lot of them have not even traveled out of the state, much less out of the country. I went to Puerto Rico at seven, uh, 17, and I didn't know how to speak no Spanish, but I went there by myself, mm-hmm. and I was okay. I made it back to my country in one piece. You had an open and you went with an open mind. Yes. You went with an open mind. Because when you went there, mm-hmm. I bet you learned some Spanish. Did you not? I didn't because I was no? just there for something. But I didn't learn any. But I learned a little bit of words, you know, when I was going to school. But mm-hmm. I didn't. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was just there for something. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. But I mean, still, but when you go with an open mind, it's, it's totally different. But I was just, just mm-hmm. looking at a... um. Uh, 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 um, a, a video that someone put up, and it was a cute little video. I don't. I think it was taped in South Africa. I'm not sure, but it was a, this little girl, the cutest little thing, and they were doing some ceremonial something that they were doing, and I'm not exactly sure what it was. But she went and did her ceremonial thing, and she was and 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 she was singing, and the music was beautiful, mm-hmm. and um. It was just, it wasn't long. It was a the little girl sang for a few seconds, a second dance. You know what people were complaining about? Why is her sh- skirt so short? Why do they have to show so much of their bodies? You know, not understanding that the Westerners, the white European and American Westerners are the ones that sexualize the body. Okay? 
what you what you be thinking of when you see a, a, a somebody with a short skirt is not what these people be thinking of when they see a child or some with a short skirt. Yeah. Or, yes. or or if you see a topless, uh, what you all be thinking about when someone is going topless, you know, over here in America or in Europe or wherever, mm -hmm. and not even mm -hmm. always in Europe because some right. you know, they're very they're, they're understanding too. Okay. Exactly. They look at they look as far as they're concerned, the breasts are to feed the baby. It's nothing mm -hmm. sexual about it. Exactly. So it's no big it's no big thing. The breast is no different than the udders on a cow. So yeah, yeah. So, you know, a, a, a lot of it is people being willing to understand other people from other um cultures and mm -hmm. and and um understanding their culture exactly and, and that's so that's what yeah. okay thank you you're welcome god bless um charmaine yes good morning sweet peach good, good morning day. everyone yeah um i agree with you um that the nanny mm -hmm. on weeks on we <clears> saw <throat> she can yeah. um uh take take up studying a little english on both mm -hmm. parts for vice versa. But then again, we don't know right. what they're doing. It's just a suggestion. But from the incident where baby A was shown on the camera, right. um, I still say it was on purpose just for the way it happened. But do I fully know? No, I don't. But I'm looking at that. That was done at Core's old apartment. Yeah. So yeah. apparently the nanny is doing something right because Core brought the nanny along with her. Mm -hmm. maybe, maybe she is studying, but I hope that she is studying to learn English because I look at it if Core uh, was out working or or had to go do something important and Journey was trying to relate something that was important right. to this right. nanny, the nanny would have no idea. So it's very important that the nanny do know some English enough to care for the kids. Um, and that's what I, I was just saying. Even like if, if the nanny was to go out and go shopping and somebody met her down at the door and, and it was pointing, oh, we got work to do in courthouse. And what if she let them in? You know what yeah. I'm saying? So it, it's a yeah. lot of dangers not to think on that level, though. But um, I think that Cora and the nanny need both native language. And that's all I like to add. Thank you, um, you sweet people. You're doing a good job here. Thank you, God. Okay, yes, bye -bye. You, thank you. One thing I want to say to you, I'll put you back on what Charmaine just said. Truly, the most important part for me that I would think about, let's say this nanny is at the house with my children, and I go out somewhere, and I know I'm going to be gone for a few hours, and all of a sudden, one of the kids just starts crying and they're holding their tummy because they're in pain something is happening to them yes and they're you know and and the child is they can't communicate to this nanny to explain because she doesn't understand certain english or some english but my child is in so much pain and my child is screaming and crying and saying, i don't know what the heck is going on How, what do i do oh call cora on the phone she can't explain to cora crying baby crying oh but how is she going to tell Cora that your child is in distress? How? That would be my biggest concern as a parent. Because we know as parents that you can go out, things can happen when you leave your kids with nannies. I, I did that kind of work before. And sometimes I might have to just text a peer or say, you know, baby is not feeling well or something's going on. I'm just saying, I'm thinking outside the box. Okay. Go ahead, Nia. How are you, darling? Good morning. I hope you feel better. Thank you if, so much. If it's allergies, it's going around a lot of people. Um, yes. Try orange juice and cayenne pepper. That works really good to clear all your nostrils and sinus. Mm -hmm. um, it will work real good. Just try a bit of it, you'll see. Um, but um, good morning to everyone. Um, I, I don't know what's going on with the nanny, and I asked the question, too, this morning. I was like, well, I hope nothing, did, you know, she's not fake or something like that. Um, but the thing is with the nanny, I I think that also, in my, this is my personal opinion, I think that Cora probably hired her because she's probably 
cheap because she does live in California. California is expensive. I have um, cousins that live out there and they're both doctors, her husband's doctor, and it's expensive. And she's lucky enough to have her husband's family member that's from California that mm-hmm. would chip in and help. Cause she even, cause I've done multiple jobs and I, and I, one of my job was a nanny to three right. young kids. Um, the both parents were a doctor and they would, and they have a huge, huge house. They, it's like six bedrooms. I'm talking about yes. these people had money. So they had a big house. When I put the girls, the other two girls on the bus to go to school, then I sit with the younger one while she's napping, I'm cleaning. Right. And when they come home from school, I make them snacks and stuff like that. With Cora's yeah. nanny, um, I I still see this should be there's a lot she could still do. It's only two kids. Yeah. Um maybe and also I and I'm not gonna body I'm not body shaming her. She could be you know, the two young kids could be too much for just for her. Maybe Cora needs somebody younger that's more active. That's, it, one, English would be a good thing uh, to be able to communicate with the kids, to communicate with Cora. It's wonderful right. to have the kids learning a different language. I, I'm always for that. Like, I'm, I myself, I'm a minority. I speak multiple languages, and it helps me every job that i go into it's easier to get the job and that's the problem here in the united states a lot of time people focus oh you're in america speak english speak english and they don't think like you need to be multi-language because it's changing and united states is like a melting pot it's got all different cultures and language in united states but with cora um she should be careful because I even the day that she was moving and packing the nanny, and I believe she was paying the nanny to help her pack. I saw a video while Cora was doing one of her live video. The nanny was behind her with the camera up. Now right. she was supposed, to, and I don't know if anybody else caught that, but I'm always like looking around every little thing around Cora, whatever. Um, but you know to me i was like why she got her camera up she's supposed to be helping her pack she's paying her to pack regardless if chorus is doing her live video because that's her job um she should be able to just go and pack i'm paying you that's like um i work for the doctors right now with the chiropractor doing billy my job is to do billy just because if the doctor's not in there because they don't have patient that doesn't mean i'm just going to sit around because I have nothing to do because the doctor's not there. They're paying me right. from the time I come in, from the time I leave. So it's the same thing with the nanny. And um, I mean, I hope that Cora or even LA mom, they could speak to, have somebody that speaks Spanish. And Cora has the um, the Spanish family, the guy that um, Jesus, that everybody called Jesus. Right. Maybe she can have um, them sit her down with her, translate and explain things to her or maybe they could be that it's like okay if Cora needs to get something um, direct to her they can be the third party to translate or whatever I see what you're saying Um, yeah and I you know and I I understand like I said this nanny needs to to improve because two kids I myself but I'm, I'm I don't know how old this lady is I'm 53 and I did this when I was in my 40s and I had experience of my own children, my nieces and nephews that I took care of. I, I babysit a lot in the family member. And, we, and I've always been a caretaker, which now I do a, I do a lot with elderly people. Um, and it's not too many. And we, and, we don't, and we don't know personally about this nanny, right? This nanny, may, we don't know like what her background is. And, and we're not even trying to get to that, really. The only exactly. reason I brought this up because people... I heard where some people are having a conversation about this nanny nanny. That's the only reason I'm even talking about it. And the, but we don't know nothing about the nanny or go ahead, darling. And I, I hope I hope Cora um, has a, something signed that whatever they see or whatever goes on in her house, because uh, especially her being in the media with this divorce thing and everybody chuming on her and blogging about her, talking about her. I hope she has something signed. And it's a lesson to learn from the other nanny that went on that talk show to talk about her personal uh, right. life or what, you know, 
I hope she learned her lesson and had something signed. Um, but you know what I mean? We can't, we are like, especially a lot of us, and I'm talking a lot because there's a lot in your, in your platform. We came from another country. We can't mm -hmm. be so judgmental not to give somebody else a chance. We don't know this, like you said, we don't know this nanny's um, um, condition or, mo you know, like what's the situation? Does she have a document to be able to work in a different job? Is she doing this right. that she gets paid less? You know what I mean? I don't, personally, I don't know her situation. I don't know Cora, all Cora's situation. But um, um, that's, yeah. that's what it, Cora just needs to have somebody that can translate, break it down. But that's that's on her. That, that's a personal business to do. Right. And when I that's see people, true. oh, baby's crying. Man, the kids are crying. Kids are going to cry. Yeah, I I like when I was when I was nanny, um the the girls and the younger daughter, the middle child, she was always she always was the one that always used to test me, but they love me dearly even now that they're older college, um the baby one would cry 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 when she was tired and she'd get me sleepy and my way of doing things, I have a way of like um whispering singing to the baby and play on their head and they fall asleep and that's what I was doing. And would you mm -hmm. believe it or not, the middle child grabbed the phone, went in the closet upstairs, called her mother while her mother was working. Her mom, mom is a doctor. Tell her mom that the younger, her baby sister screaming and crying and crying. And, and her mom called me. I was like, you know that she's trying to sleep. And you know, she's like, oh my God, yeah. Nia, don't bother. Wow. I know how she is. She's a drama queen. <laughs> well, I <don't> <laughs> and I know you wow. do a wonderful job. Mom. Yeah, that's all that was going on. Wow. And then I had, and then she's running down the stairs. And I'm like, see, this is why your sister can't sleep. And you went and called your mom. She goes, no, I didn't. I said, yes, you did, because your mom just called me. <laughs> But you know what Jesus. I mean? It's, yeah. it's just that, um, you know, Corey just, like I said, she just has to find somebody that could speak English, Spanish at the same time. That's very fluent in Spanish right. and sit down with right. the nanny. Yeah. And, and then that's it. And mm -hmm. people just, and, you know, and another thing I, I even wrote it, no matter what Cora does with her yeah. life and her kids, they always going to find something, something to pick at her. Always. Always, always, always. Yep, uh, yep, the other day yep. they were saying, oh, she's so sick. And, you know, she was sick the other day. But as soon as L.A. mom came and cooked and cleaned. Mm -hmm. And it's like, no, L.A. mom loves her. She went there. She felt bad that she's sick. It could be food poisoning. It could be the flu. It could be, you know, anything right. like that. And if it's the kids have it, she got it. She, it, people just need to let give her a chance and let her do her own let her live, thing. Let her live her lives and, and do just her because thing. she's just because she's on social. A lot of people will say this: "Oh, she's on social media. She brought it to social media." But it doesn't mean. I mean, we all go out in public. Does that mean the public has to pick on everything we do? I exactly. And tell I'll try to, to give you life? advice on how to run your life. No, exactly. no. Nobody can. Yep. Nobody can go by what everybody wants everybody if that was the read the, the purpose mm -hmm. god would make everybody equal the same right. you know that nobody would be different exactly but, um, i'm already thank at you work so, so you so maybe you have a good day and you too darling yourself. thank you all god right, bless you bye-bye you too yeah bye. all right dear bye-bye and truly one thing i want to pay about i'm going to end this slide here shortly guys so nobody else please don't request but one thing i'll also want to say truly it doesn't matter what age a nanny is okay sorry it doesn't matter what age a nanny is truly that does not matter but yes if they're spanish speaking i would love for them to be bilingual at least know how to speak some english so i can communicate certain things to them especially when my children are young like tina is about 13 months I'm just saying, okay, that's just me and my purpose. I don't know. Maybe the lady does speak maybe 10% of English. Only God knows, okay? And that's not even my business. That's not even your business, truly. But these are just opinion reaction. And this video and talking about this nanny situation was based on someone sent me some voice clips of a video that they were listening to. They screen record certain parts send it to me and i listened to it so i was just kind of talking about that based on that and you know again at the end of the day Cora is her own woman she had to make her own decisions she got to know 
X, Y, Z, I'm sure has appeared. Like I say, you got to think about a lot of things because, hello, with my busy lifestyle, I'm not always going to be in the house, right? Even though I work from home, when I'm doing certain um, of my job, job stuff, as far as social media, being on live videos, that's done in my home. There's times when I'm not going to be there. There's times when I'm going to be out the house for maybe half the day or even more. So, again, they score is business. You got to know. But for me, I like to give you my opinion, my reaction, and my opinion as a, a public figure. If I was a public figure like that, when the nanny was exposed, it would have caused me to think of a lot of different things. Because someone said up here, we don't ever see, have we ever seen Beyonce's nanny? We haven't. Other celebrities out there that have babysitters, those babysitters are not seen to us. Maybe they're seen to other um you know, celebrities or other people when they go to really big events where the rich and famous are and they bring their babysitter for whatever reason, maybe they are shown to them, but that might be private, where we, us as people out here, civilians like us, we don't get to see it, right? So at the end of the day, it is what it is, and Cora got to make her own decisions as far as that's concerned. And one thing I wanted to point out here today really quickly, guys, before I end this video as well, about this condo, townhome, condominium, mansion, palace, whatever. Wait, let me get to it really quickly. So, Rihanna, okay, I'm switching it real quick just for two seconds because I want to point out something. Oh, Lord, come on, fool. Don't play the fool now. So, Rihanna, okay, who you know is pregnant with her second child, Rihanna just bought a new home, okay, okay, is, uh, don't let me say home, it is $21 million, four-bedroom, penthouse apartment, did you hear what I just said, okay, $21 million, four-bedroom, penthouse apartment, uh-huh, so, moving on down, my whole point is here, and it goes down to say that, um, the songstress and entrepreneur recently purchased a $21 million penthouse condominium in the century in Los Angeles. So, for all those people who are out there ranting and raving about Cora's $1.6 million is not a house, it's not a mansion, it's a townhouse, it's a condo, it's a condominium. The whole point is that it's big enough to furnish you and your generation, truly, if you're just living in a flat or a shack or whatever. So I'm only showing you that Rihanna has purchased $21 million yet, and she didn't go and get a whole big mansion that is like six or eight or ten bedrooms sitting by itself with a whole lot of acres around it. She went and got a penthouse condominium, and they also tell you the floor that it sits on, okay? But we're not gonna go into all of that because it's in a building and it's on the floor and it takes up the whole entire floor. So of all those people that say, oh, Cora's going up in the escalator, elevator. Oh, she lives on the third floor. None of that matters. Go and read about you, Rihanna's new penthouse and you will understand, okay? With that being said, guys, thank you so much for everybody who came here and support trust me just talking and you guys being here i feel much better even though my nose is still clogged but i'm gonna deal with that here shortly but thank you to everybody that sent the stars share this video like this video and also came out here and spoke and even your comments i appreciate each and every one of you and thank you for all your love and support bye bye see you guys in the next one